I'm not gonna look most for it's about eight for eight for it. Welcome to the Kage Master Sword Explanation and Tutorial. I want to touch on the quick subject of L2 dashing. I didn't properly explain it in the last video. L2 dashing is essentially just pressing L2 and the left analog stick in any direction. When using this little trick to combo, you can use it to cancel into any other square attack or triangle attack that you'd use. While in the air and pressing triangle, that's the two-part animation where you press once to kick down and you press it again for the lunge. Pressing triangle while on the ground kicks them into a stun-like animation, and if you press it one more time, you do a samurai slash towards them. The Kage Master Sword has a two-part animation for a triangle, which is why on all the combos, you'll see that the button for triangle needs to be pressed twice. You could press triangle only once to cancel the second part of the animation, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's too slow, and you won't be able to combo after it most likely. If you're confused on what the jump squaring means, I explained it in the last video, but you simply do it by pressing X and square. Overall, I would still use the longsword over the Kage Masa, only because it's got the most simplicity. But this sword is definitely worth using in some montages. Let me know how you guys feel about the Kage Masa sword down below in the comments. But like always, have a wonderful day, and you guys stay safe.